The time is coming when I will choose a, a, as, a, as king a righteous descendant of David. Amen. That king will rule wisely and do what is right and just Amen. throughout the land. Amen. When he is king, the people of Judah will be safe and the people of Israel will live in peace. Amen. He will be called the Lord of our salvation. Hallelujah. The time is coming, says the Lord, when people will no longer swear by me as the living God who brought the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Instead, brought the people of Israel out. Instead, they will swear by me as the living God who brought the people of Israel out of the northern land and out of all the countries where I had to start them. Then they will live in their own land. My heart is crushed and I am trembling because of the Lord, because of his holy words. I am like a man who is drunk, a man who has had too much wine. The land is full of people unfaithful to the Lord. They live wicked lives and misuse their power. Because of the Lord's curse, the land, the land mourns and pastures are dry. The Lord says, the prophet and the priest are godless. I have caught them doing evil in the temple itself. The paths they follow will be slippery and dark. I will make them stumble and fall. I'm going to bring disasters on them. The time of their punishment is coming. I, the Lord, have spoken. I have been the son of Samaria's prophets. They have spoken in the name of Baal and have led my people astray. For I have seen the prophets in Jerusalem do even worse. They commit adultery and tell lies. They help people to do wrong, so that no one stops doing what's evil to me. They all are so bad. They are all as bad as the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm. So then, this is what I, the Lord Almighty, say about the prophets of Jerusalem. I will give them bitter plants to eat and poison to drink, because they have spread ungodliness throughout the land. The Lord Almighty said to the people of Jerusalem, Do not listen to what the prophets say. They are filling you with false hopes. They tell you what they have imagined and not what I have said. To the people who refuse to listen to what I have said, they keep saying that all will go well with them. And they tell everyone who is stubborn that disaster will never touch them. I said, none of these prophets has ever known the Lord's secret thoughts. None of them has ever heard or understood his message, or even listened or paid attention to what he said. His anger is a storm, a furious wind that will rage over the heads of the wicked, and it will not end until he has done everything he intends to do. In days to come, his people will understand this clearly. The Lord said, I did not send these prophets, but even so they went. I did not give them any message, but still they spoke in my name. If they had known my secret thoughts, then they could have proclaimed my message to my people and could have made them give up the evil lives they live and the wicked things they do. I am, the, I am God who is everywhere and not in one place only. No one can hide where I cannot see him. Do you not know that I am everywhere in the heaven and on earth? I know that those prophets have said who speak lies in my name and claim that I have given them my messages in their dreams. How much longer will those prophets mislead my people with the lies they have invented? They think that the dreams they tell will make my people forget me, just as their ancestors forgot me and turned to Baal. The prophet who has had a dream should say it is only a dream. But the prophet who has heard my message should proclaim that my message, that message faithfully. What good is straw compared with wheat? My message is like a fire and like a hammer that breaks rocks in pieces. I am against those prophets who take each other's words and proclaim them as my message. I am also against those prophets who speak their own words and claim they came from me. Listen to what I, the Lord, say. I am against the prophets who tell their dreams that are full of lies. They tell these dreams and lead my people astray with their lies and their boasting. I did not send them or order them to go, and they are no help at all to the people I, the Lord, have spoken. The Lord said to me, Jeremiah, when, I, when, when one of my people or a prophet or a priest asks you, what is the Lord's message? You have to tell them, you are a burden to the Lord and he is going to get rid of you. If any of my people or a prophet or a priest even uses the words, the Lord's burden, I will punish them and their families.
families. Instead, they should each ask their friends and relatives, what answer has the Lord given? What has the Lord said? So they must no longer use the word, the Lord's burden, because if anyone does, I will make my message a real burden to him. The people have perverted the words of their God, the living God, the Lord God Almighty. Jeremiah asked the prophets, what answer did the Lord give you? What did the Lord say? If they disobey my command and use the word, the Lord's burden, then tell them that I will certainly pick them up and throw them far away from me, both them and the city that I gave to them and their ancestors. I will bring on them everlasting shame and disgrace that will never be forgotten. Praise the Lord. Father, Lord, may you bless your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So you see what we have just read today? If you can picture so many things God was talking about, you can also realize that we are facing so many things in this present generation. So many fake prophets, so many fake prophets and prophecy that lead the children of God astray. You see what God has said to Jeremiah? He said, anyone that had my message, that had my message, my message burned like what? Like fire. The message of God is not to suit your evil way. The message of God is not to make you comfortable for your sin. The message of God is to make you repent. That is the reason he sent his son to die for our sin, to bring us back to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But this prophet, this prophet and this priest, they are what? Even God said, I have seen them, what they are doing. We said the devil is really the word. Look at the word of God. He said, I am in everywhere. I live in heaven. I live where? In heaven. In so that means God is also here. Whatever we are doing in the secret place, God is seeing it all. Hallelujah. He said, I have seen all those prophets prophesying in my name, doing all kinds of things in my name, but committing adultery and doing what? Lying. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You will see prophets now, pastors, prophetess. You look at all of them. Most of them, they are big liars. And most of them, they are committing what? Adulteries. Most of them are sleeping with what? Their church members. Those that are supposed to you to lead these people to Christ. But you are telling them it is where. You are leading them wrong. And the message of God, they are not hearing the body, the body message of God that leads to what? Repentance. They are listening to the message that, oh, it is where. They are comfortable with their sin. When you come to God, what you supposed to do is to hear the message so that you change from your evil way. But you have been coming to church for so many years, you still remain the way you are. There is nothing that has changed about you. I'm talking about our hearts, hallelujah. I'm not talking about our, our appearance now because God look at our hearts. Praise God. In your heart, that devil heart you have 20 years ago, you still have them. There is something wrong somewhere. Hallelujah. Amen. That bad attitude you have 20 years ago, you still have them. But you have been hearing this message of repentance. You have been hearing this message of what? Live in righteousness. But you are not what? It's not affecting you in any way. Because of why? Because of so many evil messages. When this pastor, pastor preached the right message, the body message of God, another one is coming to turn it upside down that will suit his people. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the problem we are facing today. They will quote so many Bible verses to do what? They, they will not reach the old shatter for the children of God to catch what they are saying. The one they will pick just one verse there and use it to manipulate the children of God. Before that one verse, there is something that leads to that one verse. Hallelujah. There is something that leads what? To that one verse you are just read to the children of God to turn them aside. It's about time for faith prophets, faith preachers to change. Because God said, not only them alone, even their descendants will be what destroyed. You will not use the name of God in vain. He said, the one you are dream, if you know his dream, you are God has given to you. He said, tell your dreams. Hallelujah. Amen. If you know it's the message of God you are, then speak it, the message God has given to you. Don't turn everything upside down. You are a major prophet. You are this, you are that. Who cares about that? Nobody cares about that. What God cares about is for you to lead the children to, work, to right direction. 
not for you to lead them astray. He said the children are supposed to turn away from their evil way. He said all of them, they are comfortable. They are not turning for their evil way. But because of the lies you are telling them, they are still sitting there. Hallelujah. They said my message burned like fire. When you hear the God message, you're supposed to be weak. There is one prophet I've listened to. Even me myself, when this prophet was preaching, I was afraid. I tell you, we are there that day. Minister John, we are there. Look at the raw message this prophet of God we are giving. Anybody that is in that church, if you don't repent, it's your own cup of tea. Because you preach the raw message of God, the way he had God outside him, he give it to the people. He don't compromise anything. He don't compromise to suit people. Because he's not preaching for people. He's not preaching for people to love him. He doesn't care who like him. He doesn't care who comes to the church. He preached it because that is what God said. Amen. Next time I will teach you how these people were against Jeremiah. Because Jeremiah was the true prophet of God that proclaimed the right message. There were a lot of so many prophets there. But when God said, I will cause this country, then we tell the people of God that God will not do it. It is where. Whereas it is not what? Where. Hallelujah. How can a real prophet of God come to say this is what God says the Lord? Or not the one will be saying, no, that is not what God is saying. Is that not confusion? Huh? That is the same confusion we are facing now in the body of Christ. This present time, when a prophet of God is telling the truth message, preaching the truth message, prophesying our people to, to repent, how God will bless them, what will happen? Another one will come to suit the members so that they will be comfortable in their sin. No, God don't want any soul to perish. God wants so to come to him. That's why he sent a prophet. That's why he do what? He said the prophets. If you go to verse 32, verse 28, read for me, 28 to 32. Let's see what God said there. 28. Jeremiah 23, verse 28 says, The prophet who has had a dream should say it is only a dream. For the prophet who has heard my message should proclaim that message faithfully. Amen. Are you getting it? Do you see we have different type of prophets? Are you getting it? Who is Joseph in the Bible? He's a dreamer. He's an awesome prophet. Yeah. But a prophet that, that had a dream. Yeah. Who is Jeremiah in the Bible? He's a prophet yeah. that yeah. hear from God. He proclaimed what God is saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now all these confusions should stop in the body of Christ. He said a prophet that had a dream. He should say to his people, this is a dream. But the one that heard from God as a message, he should say, this is the message God has given to me. He should say it, prophesy it faithfully. Hallelujah. We should stop confusing people in the body of Christ. We should stop causing confusion. If you had a dream, tell them, this is the dream God has given to me. If you have a message, preach it. Continue. Good is straw compared with wheat. My message is like a fire and like a hammer that breaks rocks. My message is what? Like a fire. Like a fire. <laughs> you see, God message is like a fire. Yes. God message is not to suit you. God message is not to clap to make you feel good. God message is not to make you feel when you are doing wrong. Yes. When they are correcting you, we get angry and get out of the church. Ha! 
He calls it have what? Wisdom. Hallelujah. We should not suit people. We should not make people comfortable in their evil way. No. God hates sin. Yes. God don't love sin. He said, I cannot tolerate a sinner. The prayer of a sinner is abomination to me. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why sometimes when you are a sinner, God can keep you silent for years. Mm. When you are praying, you will not even hear anything from God. Because your prayer is sticking to Him. Yes. It's also the children of God. When you are sinned and get your spirit, they also can also what? Keep you silent. Yes. Because you are, He said, don't grieve the Holy Spirit in anyone. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So we should be careful. The message of God is like a fire. It dwells in us. God is in you. It's every one of us. God can show you a vision. God can show you a dream and revelation. Yes. Everybody is a prophet of his own house. Yes, true. Hallelujah. Amen. We should stop following all those who are all those prophets that is prophesying in the name of God. Whereas they what? They are a big liars. Continue. And like a hammer that breaks rocks in pieces. Amen. I am against those prophets who take each other's words and proclaim them as my message. Mm-hmm. And the what? Against, against the, the prophets. Uh huh. Who take each other's word and proclaim it as my message. And you see some people will also go to YouTube. They will go and steal people's message. They don't have message of their own. God is not giving them message. If you are really a child of God, God give you message to give to his people. Don't go there and look at them the way they are doing their turn and start to demonstrate the same thing. No, no, I am fake. Hallelujah. No, God is not like that. I don't, don't copy me, I will not copy you. Because Jessica is Jessica. A message is a message. Minister Joy is Minister Joy. And I'll do is that I'll do. Hallelujah. When you are a 
dreamer and you add to what God has given to you, you are in trouble. Hallelujah. He said, don't add to my word and don't remove. When God has given you a dream, send it the way you saw that dream. Don't add to it. Don't remove. Hallelujah. He said, I'm against those people. Read. They tell these dreams and lead my people astray. They t- are you getting it? They tell this dream and lead what? My people are straight. Continue. With their lies and their boastings. With their lies and their boastings. We should careful. We should what? Careful. careful. Don't come. I have this dream. You know this dream is not truth. Because you know that people believe in your dream. You are lying. And with pride on it, you are what? God is against you. Continue. I did not send them or order them to go. I did not what? Send them or order them to go. Read. And they are no help at all to the people I, the Lord, have spoken. Mm. The Lord said to me, Jeremiah, when one of my people or a prophet or a priest asks you, what is the Lord's message? You are to tell them you are a burden. Amen. Amen. You see what he's telling them? You see what God, when those prophets, because definitely all these prophets, they know the real one. They know they are their fake ones. They know. If I'm real, I know I'm real. If I'm fake, I know I'm fake. Because why? My heart. My heart. He said, it takes a free spirit to serve God. God lives in your heart. If you know God lives in your heart, God directs you what to do. You don't do things on your own. Hallelujah. Just read the same Bible chapter for me, verse 14. Read the 12 to 115. Then we can close from there. The path, Jeremiah 23, 12 says, The paths they follow will be slippery and dark. Mm. I will make them stumble and fall. The path they follow. God said he will make them what? Slippery and dark. Okay, continue. I will make them stumble and fall. Mm-hmm. I am going to bring disaster on them. The time of their punishment is coming. And he is going to do what? Bring disaster on them. So all those dreamers that are clear that God is showing me, all those fake prophets that said God is saying and God did not say, wait, disaster is coming upon them. They will not escape this word of God. But the only way I said they change for their evil way and repent. Hallelujah. When we give up our sin and follow Christ, what will happen? God will accept us. But when we continue to deceive the children of God, to lead them astray because of money, <laughs> your end is near. Praise God. Continue. Oil the Lord has spoken. Mm. I have seen the sin of Samaria's prophets. Samaria prophets. Uh huh. They have spoken in the name of God mm. and have led my people astray. They have led what? My people astray. There is some prophets. They are not from God. They are using familiar spirit. These kinds of prophets, they are the ones that lead children of God astray. Yeah. Continue. And What? 
I don't know if it's so, so, so certain 